Amber and welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys I have a small build. It is a 10k challenge build. <laughs> Basically, it says the title. Anyways, it um I decided to do one the other day when I was streaming. I haven't done one in a while, so I figured why not? I love a challenge. AKA I don't know why I torture myself, but I did, so here we are. So, if you're curious about my other 10k challenges, I do have them on my channel. They were made a long time ago, FYI, so yeah, keep that, <laughs> keep that in mind when you watch them. Anyway, so yeah, so I decided to do a 10k challenge. Basically, if you don't know what it is, you're supposed to build a house that is 10,000 simoleons or less. It has to have a fully furnished kitchen. It has to have a kitchen, it has to have a living room, a dining room, a bathroom, and a bedroom. I don't know if you have to have a double bed. I always make sure that my sims have a double bed just because they never really stay single for very long. I've never played a sims game of me making a sim and them living alone like a majority of their life. I've never done that before. Usually once I make a young adult sim I get them a job, they work for a couple of days so I can start getting some money into the house and then I throw them out to the club <laughs> so they can try to find another person because I don't know, I like to have families in my game. This here is not really a family house. It's built for a single sim or a pair of sims to live somewhat comfortably. There's not much clutter because like I said, it's 10,000 simoleons. Like it seems like a lot of money. But it's really not. Like, I picked the smallest lot to help out with first. Of course, the Simolonians don't really go to that. It's the house itself, not the lot that you're on. But I felt like because I picked a small lot to start, the, uh, to start you know, building this house, it would help when it came to anyone who downloaded my house or even myself when I wanted to use it that it wouldn't cost that much money just to get the land before I even put the house down. So the lot that I chose was the smallest lot that's available in the game. Those are going to be the 20 by 15s. I know there's a few of them on other worlds besides Newcrest, but I knew for sure there was at least two in Newcrest, so this is where I built the house. <laughs> Big surprise. I built it in Newcrest. I went on ahead and I, <clears throat> you know, put the basics down as of right now. I built the structure. I feel like it came out okay. I was worried about it looking too boxy and kind of just unappealing in general, but I ended up changing the shape just a teeny bit so it's at least pleasing to the eye, at least for me anyway. Hopefully you guys feel the same. And since I knew that I couldn't, like, I don't know if you guys have noticed when you build on your own, but a lot of the items in the Sims game are pretty expensive. Like really expensive. I probably most of the time I don't notice because you know I have like 20 to 25k to work with when it comes to building a house. But then again, most of my houses end up being like 30 or 40k. So I never really noticed. But now that I'm on a budget, I notice. So I knew there was a lot of things that I wasn't going to be able to get. So I had to you know try to do what I could. So <laughs> I did use some debug items for this build because most of not all, most of the debug items you get or that you can use don't cost any money usually I say that because there is some stuff in there that does cost some money but most the majority of the time it is none so that's the way I was able to get a fence to put around the yard because fences in the game are pretty expensive and because I wanted to you know put the fence in the front and the back I knew it was going to take a lot of money and I just didn't have that to give so I ended up using this stone fence which to be honest since I've been using a lot of debug items a lot of the fencing and stuff that they have available are really nice and they're different from what you can get just from using um, build mode so I've been really happy with using that <laughs> so again I really you know loved how it came out in the front I did manage to get some plants those plants are debug so they didn't cost any money because again when it comes to uh, landscaping it's like a typical tree or bush is like 60 to 100 something simoleons a piece. The flowers are like 25 to 30 a piece. And you never just put like one flower or one bush. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you do landscaping, you put a lot of greenery down or at least as much as you can to make it look more natural. You're not just going to have like one single daisy just in the middle of the yard. Like that's not going to work. So I made sure to use those items. And I made sure when I was doing the windows that I picked the windows that... I think they're like $35 a piece, I want to say. 
So anyway, so we're moving on to the inside now. This is going to be the one bedroom that I made. Again, you could have used, I could have used a single bed. It would have saved me money. But believe it or not, this double bed that I used, it was like $75. It was cheaper than the cheapest bed you can get in buy mode. And it did not have a discomfort to it at all. And I was surprised. I really was because I thought it was going to, you know, clearly be uncomfortable because I mean look at the tears on the bed the bed looks pretty raggedy but it doesn't so I was like okay whatever I didn't like how plain it was how it looked so I used believe it or not those are some fences from the bug to make it into a headboard I think it came out super cute like I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner I really do need to go through debug mode more to see what more items I can use because if I can start giving my sims beds headboards when I don't care about the headboard that the bed comes with and stuff like that or even some beds that don't have a headboard give them one I think that would be great it would look really nice so that made me really excited so I can't see what other builds I come up with to put that in but anyway so going back to the room itself it's decent sized Kind of maybe a little bit on the small side, but not as small as I typically make them because there's a dresser in there. If you notice in some of my other builds, when it comes to making bedrooms, I don't always put a dresser. Just because I personally never use a dresser with my sims. I, um, I mean, I know it's nice to have for decoration or whatever, so that's why I was trying to put it in the rooms. that at least had a dresser. It had end tables. I end up putting a plant in there. I find, you know, a set of pictures just to make the room look a little bit more homey. Now, for the rest of the build, <laughs> money starts to get a little bit more tight. I shouldn't even say a little bit, like a lot of bit. <laughs> for the most part because I was feeling pretty confident once I finished like the little landscaping I did in the front and then the bedroom I was like okay I have plenty of money it's fine and then once I had the bedroom done with or yeah once I had the bedroom done with and I moved on to the bathroom even though the bathroom is pretty basic for the most part I was starting to get scared because I remembered about the kitchen how you need counters you need a fridge you need a stove and even though they have like you know like that really cheap stove and that really cheap like fridge and stuff those are still like close to a couple hundred simulodians and we were already kind of get pretty close at this point but I mean I made it work in the end because clearly if I did it this house wouldn't be up here <laughs> but yeah so I struggled with the bathroom for a minute because I'm one of those weird people where I don't like my bathtub to not be against a wall where the faucet is it I mean even though I've seen like houses in real life where they'll have like the tub in the middle of the floor and the water's coming like from the bottom. For some reason to me it always looks kind of funny in The Sims 4. I don't know and it might just be me because I did the same thing in The Sims 3 when I build rarely in there but when I have to build a house for my Sims I do the same thing. I like to keep their bathtubs and whatnot against the wall I guess because in my house in real life my bathtubs against the wall not the middle of the floor so you know whatever but in the bathroom I mean I feel like even though the color scheme isn't great it's you know it gets the job done they have the counters they have the sink they have the toilet they have the bathtub I know showers are preferred more often because they bathe quicker but I mean I feel like the bathroom looks better because it has a bathtub. Of course, that's just my opinion, though. <laughs> uh, Y'all don't have to pay attention to it, but that's just what's in there. Now, for the kitchen, again, very basic because we're running close out of money. Like, right now, this is the first time I'm checking to see how much it's going to cost for the house if I upload it. Because I have to keep it at exactly 10,000 simulonians or less. And at this point, we were think I think we were, like, at 8,000 eight or nine thousand so I was like okay I should have enough to furnish like a living room of some sort and have a dining room because at first I was just gonna have the kitchen and the living room and you know just let my sims eat in front of the TV because I mean people do that so it's fine or my sims do that too so I wasn't bothered but I was like no I should at least be able to get a dining room in there just in case somebody else's sims actually sit at a table and eat food so I went on ahead and I added the back door, even though, again, I didn't get to put anything in the backyard, which I'm quite sad about. But there is a backyard there. So, like, if you guys want to add a pool there later on or, like, a whole patio set, barbecue, whatever, of course, you'll be able to do so. Anyhow, so, yeah, so I ended up adding a dining room. I did get, like, you know, a couple of chairs. I got them a table. So that is set up in there. And I made sure to put curtains on. I believe on all the windows I might have missed one or two but at least like in the front rooms and stuff I tried to have 
you know, curtains there so they would have something to kind of cover the windows by <laughs> for the most part. It even has a trash can in the kitchen area and I'm adding a couple of entrance rugs here or there or not rugs, like doormats basically. Add one to the back door and add one to the front door. And now I'm kind of going through to see if I can add a bookshelf. I end up adding one just so they can have something else there besides just the TV. And I'm trying to figure out if I have enough money to really add anything else. And at this point, the answer is no. <laughs> I don't really have anything. I feel like I left it off. I finished this house at 9,900 and I want to say 36 Simulonians. And that was the end price. So I made it. I passed the challenge. Hopefully you guys like the house. I really like it. I'm probably actually going to use it for once. I'm pretty stoked about it. Anyways, so the video is coming to an end. And I hope you guys enjoyed what you got to see today. If you want to download the house, it is up on the gallery. I will have the download link in the description below. So you guys can just click that and download it. And that's about it. So I'll see you guys next time. If you like what you saw today, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see all of y'all next time. Bye.